everyone, this is Yoan and a very welcome to you. In this episode, I'm gonna take you along and we're gonna make this beautiful quilt behind me. So this is a scrappy modern style window pane quilt and for this quilt you're gonna need one full set of layer cake or the 10 inch squares pre-cut fabric. They usually comes 42 pieces in one package and you're gonna need also a little bit of fabric for the sashing. The finished measurement of this quilt is approximately 60 and a half inch by 70 and a half inch and obviously you can enlarge the size of the quilt by adding borders or by adding more blocks. This is a relatively easy quilt yet it is so much fun to make and I was pleasantly surprised with how the quilt turned out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's get started. Let's prepare the fabric. For this project, I'm going to use this layer cake from Moda Fabrics. The line is called Sugar Creek by Cory Yoder. Love this fabric line, love all the colors as well. It's beautiful. For the sashing, you will need a little less than a yard of fabric. I'm using this solid gray from Kona Fabric. Now we're going to start cutting our fabrics. So take one layer cake, lay it out straight on your cutting mat, just like that. Now I'm going to take my ruler and rotary cutter and then measure 6 inches. Since my ruler is 6 inches wide, I simply use the edges of my ruler as the guide. Once you've measured 6 inches, go ahead and take the rotary cutter and cut. Now without moving your fabric, you want to rotate your cutting mat clockwise 90 degrees, just like that. So now the cutting line is sitting horizontally. Now take the ruler and the rotary cutter and we're going to do the same like before. So we're going to measure 6 inches and cut. Alright, so you're going to end up with 4 pieces of fabrics, 2 squares and 2 rectangles. So we're going to name each of these fabric alphabetically. So we've got fabric A, fabric B, fabric C, and fabric D. And you should see their measurements on the screen right now, just to make sure that we are on the same track. So you want to work the same for all of your layer cake squares. Now if you want to save some time, you can also cut few layer cakes at the same time. I like to do four at a time. You can do more or less, whichever more comfortable for you. So I stack them up and making sure that the edges are aligned and then cut the exact same way. So here I've already cut quite a few of layer cakes. Now since fabric B and fabric C are pretty much the same in measurements, I'm going to stack them together. To make the sashing, you will need to cut 1.5 inch strips from your accent fabric. You will need around 22 strips for all the sashings. And then you want to cut your sashing according to these measurements and you will need 42 pieces for each of them. To make the block, you want to lay out your fabric just like shown here. And then sew them together with quarter inch of seam allowance. So I'm going to start by sewing fabric A with sashing 1. And then I'm going to grab fabric C and sashing 2. Now I'm going to take the fabric B and sew that with the sashing 1. Now I'm going to sew fabric D with sashing 2. Go ahead and press the seams towards one side. Next we're going to sew the first row with the sashing 3 together. And then we're going to sew the second row. Now it is very important to make sure that you align the seams of sashing 1 and sashing 2. 
and I actually pin them to make sure they are match and not gonna be shifted so I kind of use my fingers and fill the seam allowance and make sure they are sitting right on top of each other and then pop the pin right on the seams all right now let's go ahead and sew them together So you should end up with something like this. Now the size of your block should measure 10 and a half inch by 10 and a half inch. So you can go ahead and square them up again just to make sure that your block is accurate in size. Mine is pretty good here, just a little bit of fabric is sticking out up there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Now you can go ahead and sew and piece your blocks. What I like to do here, since we're making scrappy blocks, I like to do chain piecing and do them in batches. So here I've got all of my pieces clustered together on my side of table and then start chain piecing. I like to start by sewing fabric A with sashing 1 and then I sew fabric B with sashing 2. Then I'm going to go back and sew fabric A with sashing 1 and then fabric B with sashing 2. And then I keep repeating until I've got like about four or five sets of this. And then I'm going to sew fabric B or C, which are pretty much the same size with the pieces that were already sewn with the sashing. And then sew the sashing 3 to the first row or the row where fabric A is. And of course I do this after I press the seams. Obviously you don't have to exactly follow what I do here. You can come up with your own system, your own flow and do it on your own pace. Now when you lay out your block, you want to lay them out without matching the sashing or in fact without matching any seams. Just like that. Now let me give you a couple more examples. So I'm going to take another block and lay this here. All right, this is great. And one more. There you go. If you sew all of your layer cakes, you should end up with 42 blocks. And then you want to lay them out in 7 rows and 6 columns, just like shown here. Now it's time to piece the quilt blocks together. So here I've already grouped my quilt blocks according to each row, from the first row up to the seventh row. And of course, when you stack each row together, you want to make sure that you don't mess with the position of the block. This way you won't mess the entire row and mess the entire layout of your quilt. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sew my quilt blocks one row at a time. And what I love about this pattern is when you sew the quilt blocks together, you don't have to worry about lining up the seams. Press the seams of each row towards opposite direction. For example, if you press the seams of the first row towards the right, you want to press the seams of the second row towards the left and vice versa. This way, when you sew the rows together, the seams are going to be nestled and easily aligned. Once you've done sewing all the blocks from each row, go ahead and sew the rows together. Right now, I'm sewing the first and the second row together. So I like to match and nestle the seams as I go. But if you are a pinner and you like to pin beforehand, go ahead and do that. And 
And of course you want to press the seams. It doesn't really matter to which direction at this point. Alright, so once you've sewn all the rows together and your quilt top is ready to go, go ahead and layer it with the batting and the backing fabric, baste them together, and then we're gonna move on to the most exciting part, which is the quilting. I free motion this quilt with simple meandering loop the loop design, and sometimes I added flower shape or more on cauliflower actually. <laughs> but um, this is one of the design that I really enjoy doing um, since I am easily distracted. Sometimes I found myself when I'm quilting, I started to daydream or think about something else. And this is one of those designs that I think you can't go wrong with. It's great if you are a beginner in free motion quilting as well. Nonetheless, feel free to do any design that you like. Um, if you are more experienced, obviously you can do more intricate design. Or if you're a beginner, you can simply use your walking foot and do um, wavy lines or simple straight lines or diamond shape. You can also hand quilt this if that's what you prefer. So do what works best for you. For the binding, you will need seven strips. I cut my binding two and a half inch wide and I use the exact same fabric that I use for the sashing. Alright, now we're on to the last step, which is binding. So go ahead and bind your quilt with your favorite binding method. That's all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next time with another fun sewing and quilting projects. Goodbye!